Hello everybody, this is Dr. Novak. Uh, what you're going to look at is a test of the nitrate levels that uh, were in the aquarium when we started the test. And then we'll know, I have two pots of pothos, which I said in one of my videos I was going to test out. <clears throat> and both pots will have uh, water taken from the aquarium, put into the pot, so the pothos could consume the nitrates. And that's all they would have as a food source, is the nitrates that are in the water from the aquarium. Now, the results you're getting here are what the aquarium started out at. So it was 10.1 parts per million of nitrates. So this 10.1 parts per million nitrates went into each pot. So it would be consumed by the pothos. Now, both pothos had a vast root system. Some of the roots were spreading. If you watch some of my past videos, uh, they were as long as uh, a meter long. Uh, some of them were even in the substrate when I pulled the pots out. If you remember correctly, I they had some uh, insects on them. I cleaned off the pothos itself so they would, uh, you know, be cleaned of any of the insects so they wouldn't be hindered, and that seemed to work. Sprayed them real lightly with some uh, insect spray. That seemed to do the trick. Then I uh, washed them both off, cleaned them real good, put them out. So uh, each plant is getting uh, good available sunlight, or what, sh what I should say, diffuse sunlight, not direct sunlight, but diffuse sunlight. And um, they seem to be doing well, and I thought, well, I'll test each pot to show you what the nitrate level is from 10.1, what the plants did. And of course, this test does show that the nitrates have been consumed by the pothos. However, let's see. Uh, this video does prove that the pothos does consume nitrates, as hobbyists say, but it doesn't conclusively prove that it will consume enough nitrates out of the aquarium to bring NO3 down to zero nitrates. However, it also does not conclusively prove that pothos will use nitrates over ammonia. It also will show that the pothos can consume nitrates as a food source, but it may not be able to compete with the insults that are being present on a daily basis. For example, like food adding more nitrates on a daily basis, fish waste being broken down through oxidation, or for that matter, just completing the nitrogen cycle with nitrates being the end byproduct to eliminate nitrates completely if ammonia is present. The only thing that this test proves is that potholes will use nitrates if no other competing nutrients are available to the plant. If the insults coming into the aquarium along with ammonia or ammonium overpower that of which the pothos can consume, then you will see very little to no impact at all in the aquarium nitrates, which is what I had said that I'm not really seeing an impact on my nitrates, my nitrates going down in the goldfish aquarium. The test shows that the pothos is consuming nitrates under ideal conditions. However, it does not show if the pothos has less light available to it. It then consumes less nitrates as a food source. So the test shows us that the nitrates are being consumed, as we can see in the first, second pot here. 5.6. And now, since it's been a week, I'm going to test out the goldfish aquarium and see where are the nitrates now with the goldfish aquarium after one week. Now remember, 
the goldfish, they're big, fancy goldfish. They're fat. They eat uh, two times a day. I, I feed them two times a day, once in the morning, once in the afternoon. Uh, don't forget there's plants in there. You have plants uh, that could be decaying, some not decaying, uh, that are growing, that uh, could be consuming some of the nitrates. That may, and They may be, they may not be. We don't know. We would have to scientifically try to prove that. But this short video is going to show then exactly after one week, what are the nitrates in the aquarium, what the goldfish are in. And if you look, nitrates went down only by 0.3 parts per million, just a tad less. Uh, no pothos in the aquarium. But the pothos, like I said, did not make an impact on my nitrate reading. So if I'm reading like 9.8. That's what it would have been if I was using the pothos. It would have been 10.1. It made no impact whatsoever. But we know that the pothos, if left on their own, definitely make an impact in the small container as long as nitrates are the only thing available under ideal light conditions, which is diffuse sunlight. Yes, they consume some of the nitrates out of it. But as you notice through these tests, none of the containers were void of nitrates. They still had nitrates in them. So the potholes, even though it's getting indirect sunlight through the lanai, it still did not consume 100% of the nitrates available. We can also say that in each pot, nitrates were not being added to the pot are being made or produced from the plants. So all the plants had to do was photosynthesize and consume nitrates out of the pot, which they did, but they did not consume all of the nitrates. So this then shows us that even though the plants have available nitrates to them, that they will not consume all the nitrates that are available to them. So this little test here with the, here's one of the pothos or devil's ivy in one of the pots, and I'll show you. As you can see, it's getting indirect sunlight, so it's getting nice sunlight to it, and it's got a vast root system to it. So we can't say, well, it didn't have much of a root system. All the bugs are gone, but it only consumed some of the nitrates out of the water. If it consumes it at that rate, that means it would take more than two weeks to consume 100% of the nitrates out of these pots. This is the second pothos that I did my re, uh, little test on. Of course, we can see where a pothos can help eliminate nitrates. But it doesn't necessarily mean that it will consume all nitrates because as this is showing, it's not consuming all nitrates because nitrates are being produced and made every single day. So that means it could help control nitrates but not eliminate nitrates, at least what my tests are showing. Now, even in the aquarium, the nitrates went up a little bit, like 0.2 parts per million after a week. Uh, I'm not going to complain about that. So I know that the uh, plenum and I know that the BCB bag that's in the canister are working to help control and keep nitrates either down or eliminate them. In this case, with the goldfish eating and consuming a lot and making a lot of waste. Plus, I'm using uh, sand mixed with a very small gravel as a substrate. We don't know what kind of impact really that is having on the plenum. Since it is sand with a gravel mix, the impact uh, 
I, I don't know. I can't really tell you for sure that that's impacting the plenum as if we didn't use such a um, medium or, or a substrate that compacts. Remember, this tank has been up over a year. So that sand now has compacted quite a lot by settling in there for over a year. So this, this doesn't really, I'm not saying this proves anything. Uh, don't misunderstand me. This little test is just a little test. We're trying to see, one, what kind of nitrates we gave the plant. We know how much we gave the plant, and we know how much it used within a week under ideal conditions. And all the plant had to do was consume what it had. It didn't have any competing nutrients for the plant to use, only nitrates that were in there. And as we saw, it did take the nitrates down, but not to zero. So you could imagine in the aquarium what it could be doing if it wasn't under ideal conditions, absolute ideal conditions, optimum conditions, I guess I should say, where lighting is just absolutely perfect and uh, the roots have availability to nitrates. Now, I guess this would also depend what your nitrate levels are in your aquarium that you started out with. Okay, um, I don't know. But I can see now that that uh, if an aquarium had, like what we saw here, 10 parts per million of nitrates, that it would not, in a week's time, consume all the nitrates. Plus the fact you're producing new nitrates every single day to add to the aquarium. So maybe that's why I didn't see any impact. The plants probably were consuming nitrates or ammonia, but it wasn't making any impact on the aquarium for me to say, yes, it's removing nitrates to the point where uh, I don't have to do any water changes like some hobbyists may claim to. So that's all this is showing that, yes, it uses nitrates, but not to the capacity where I would take it to the bank and say it will consume all my nitrates as long as you are producing nitrates. And if you have a heavy load and an older aquarium, you don't know then how, mu how much of the nitrates are being consumed by the plant. So this little test kind of shows everybody why some, after 50 years of using the plant, say it does not work. Like me, I'd have to say, in my aquarium, it did not work. Now we can understand why some hobbyists say, no, the plants don't work. They haven't consumed any of my nitrates. Because you were consuming more, it didn't consume enough of the nitrates to make an impact because you were making more nitrates than the plant itself could consume. Therefore, it wasn't working. Even without the plant in my aquarium, it, it didn't make an impact. I see my aquarium's doing just as uh, good as without it as it did with it. So it's like I didn't even add the plants to the goldfish aquarium at, at all. They were just there for uh, cosmetic reasons. So it didn't make any impact is what I'm saying. And we can understand why. <clears throat> they do consume nitrates. This video shows it, but not at the level that uh, uh, I guess would satisfy enough um, hobbyists out there to say it made an impact on my aquarium. So this basically tells you why it didn't make an impact. It's not consuming that much nitrates where it may take, you know, two, three weeks just to consume all the nitrates that are in their container. Okay, and the only way I'm going to find that out is wait another week if I don't put any new water in these containers and see where the nitrates are at. But that's the only way I'll be able to tell. Did they consume all the nitrates? But remember, no nitrates are being added to these two containers. So they're only consuming what is available to the root system. 
now we can understand why the plant is yes with some people, it's great, and no, it doesn't work at all with other people. So this is Dr. Novak. I hope you like this. This conclusively doesn't say the plants are garbage. It doesn't say that they don't work. At least, at least we've proven they do work, but not to the extent where it may make enough impact for enough hobbyists to use it. Okay. Um, that's all I can say. It made no impact on my aquarium. And from what others have said, that the plant made no impact on their aquariums. So anyhow, uh, this is Dr. Noak. Subscribe to my channel so I can come up with more stuff. Uh, leave a comment below on what you what you think. If you, if you uh, like the little test, yeah, I'm sure... I'm going to get all kinds of people tell me how, oh, I should have tested for this. I should have tested, you know, well, you know, you can always do the test yourself also, you know, it just costs a little bit of money for a test kit, do the test yourself, and you can find out yourself just like I did, you know, grow the pothos in your aquarium, then grow them in a pot and make sure, you know, just, you can do everything I did yourself. But anyhow, just, I just want to find out, are they consuming nitrates when they're available? Yes. Okay. We got it, but it may not be impactive enough to to warrant um, using the plant as something that will get rid of nitrates and consume a lot of nitrates. No, nah, I, I wouldn't go that far. Yes, they work, but they're not uh, they're not aggressive enough at using nitrates, is what this has shown. So until next time. Uh, happy fish keeping. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel.